So, Joel Kumar Sen, and in this video tutorial, you are going to learn about inventory control. So, they have, I mean, this is a question uh, which already asked in gate previous year. Alright, so this is a question of, as you can see right now, I hope you can read the question all that, right? So, how you can, uh, able to, I mean, this is a question of little bit, you know, offsight. I mean, if you know how to find out EOQ, that's good, but you should know, uh, I mean, what they have asked first. So, the, what they have asked, find ratio of EOQ, of, ratio of EOQ of P and Q will be. So, what they have said in this question, they have given data for two product, product P and product Q. So, we have to find out EOQ for product P and EOQ for product Q. Then, we have to find out ratio. As I have already shared with you, with you a question which already asked in gate previous year uh, that how to find out EOQ. Okay, I have already shared with you. So, what is the formula for finding out EOQ that is 2RC0 by CC. Okay, so what is R basically that is consumption or demand you can say that and C0 ordering cost and CC carrying cost. Okay, so here R is demand, C0 is ordering cost and CC is carrying cost. So this is all about you know uh, this uh, formula and EOQ what is that what is the formula of EOQ economic order quantity. Now what we have to find out that is EOQ. So we will find out first EOQ, EOQ for P is equal to root under 2 R is 100 C0 is uh, 50 and CC is 4. So 425 therefore 25, 25 and 2, so 50, we will get 50 from here, right? We don't even uh, uh, need calculator for this calculation. Now, we will find out EOQ for product Q. So, 2R, R is 400 as you can see on your screen also and this is 1. So, what we can get from here, this is, uh, yeah, 100, multiple 100, multiple 4. So, this is uh, 100, 100, 100. Uh, yeah, and this one is 2. So, it's 200. Okay. So, what they have asked? Ratio, we have to find out this. So, what we can say this is 50 divided 200. So, 1 is to 4. Now, look at the option. Options, we have given 4 ABCD. Now, as you can see, option B is the right answer for this question. So, this is how you can solve numerical problems related to EOQ when they have asked to find out ratio. Okay, I mean they have given data of two products P and Q and we have to find out ratio of EOQ. That's a pretty good question I must say that and I hope you have learned how to solve the numerical problem of it. Alright, so thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again in my next video tutorial. Bye-bye.